Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, suspicious, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, and holy. The point here is disobedient to parents. And um, literally, your parents will break you. Were, were, were and also your elders. Yes. Because your elders are also your parents. Yes. Them actually are the, um, are the men that bring the knowledge um, to your house. Um, your house may actually be. Right. See, so we are actually it's offspring for them. Are we actually fruits um, of them. See, so when it, that means you're disobedient to parents. And we're going to see that a lot in these days. See, just like when you see men falling out. I saw a prime example. You're going to see more men falling out. And you 
last thing, the knowledge you last thing are throwing away the knowledge of the Heavenly Father is the key thing why you depend on the law today. Then, because the Heavenly Father set up laws, statutes for you to, um, as, um, to govern you as a guide, to govern we as a people, to keep you clean as a people, and, and sep separate because that's the word holy means. The old word holy means separated or clean. Then you give you them laws so it can be holy, it can be separated from the other nations. But because we throw the law away, then, and we, are, we actually are taken on to the customs and the Eden, hey, we're no longer um, holy people, yo. Our people are no longer holy. Then, one, This is Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall this continue from thine heritage that I have given, that I gave thee, and will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So he said, I cause you to serve your enemies. Then, and in, in Deuteronomy, he said, I bring a nation um, as swift as the eagle. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, can I get it? He said, I bring a nation as swift as the eagle. And for our people, that was the Americans, that was the Europeans. Yeah. That was the Roman Empire. They are the Romans, so-called Esau, Edomites. They were the ones who, who rush in yeah, and, yeah. And, and take our people. In 70 AD, let me read the precept and then we can just go in. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from thee, from, um, sorry, from the end of the earth. Hey, when, when they when they, when they the us the arrow up, the Native Americans, when, when they were here, the, the, the northern, um, another tribe, right? Another kingdom, yes, sir. Like another kingdom. When they get, when they, when they get brought over this side, yo, then, um, where, where, in which? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, man. In which? Because first of all, the kingdom of Israel gets split in two, right? And when the kingdom of Israel gets split in two, you have the Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that remain in the land, in the land of Israel. Now these are the rest of the child that Shaman has started to carried away captives out of them land. No, wait, these are considered the last tribe of the house of Israel. That's why um, when, when, uh, when Christopher Columbus is coming over here, um, they said, the king and queen of Spain at the time said, oh, you know, it's the land there over here. Oh, you know, it's the goal and people there over here. He said, from the prophet Ezra. Yeah. The because it's written in Ezra. Read it, Doc. This is 2 Ezra, chapter 13, and verse 40. Those are the ten tribes. Those are the ten tribes. Simeon, Zebulun, yo, you name it. You see me? Simeon, Zebulun, Ephraim, Manasseh, God, Reuben, those, and the rest of the tribes. Those are the tribes where, that were them carried away captive. Can you tell me something like that? Um, it said ten, but when he stayed in the land was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You see? And the rest of them come over here. But some of Levi, they come with them because they need the priest with all the people. Again, I'm going to hear it. That it was so. Verse 40. Those 
hazardous in tribes which were carried away prisoners both the people on land in the time of Hosea, king, the king, whom Shalmanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. He carried them over the waters. One. And so came they into another land. So they came into another land. One. But they took his counsel among themselves. And they took counsel among themselves and decided, say, oh, this is what we're going to do. One. That they would leave the multitude of the Eden and go forth into a further country. So then go further off into a further country. One. We are never we are never can dwell. Can dwell. Then, because um over here, man, in that the region, go go further. Right. Verse 42. That they might keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. He said that they may keep their statutes that they never kept in their own land. They weren't keeping the laws. So including the fringes that they're supposed to have on the body of their garment, them never did a keep that either. Them never did a keep from um, them, they, they did a eat pork. Okay, them they are the last basically. So them never did a keep the customs as what the precepts said. So them say when them go further into a land, into the land where never man can do it, there them will keep the customs. One. Verse 43. And they entered into Euphrates. They entered into the river Euphrates, one. By the narrow passage of the river. One. For the Mosai, then shoot sights for them. 